Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Now, I've got apology. Yes, I'm on my own, but there is a reason. Um, last week, last Tuesday, Kerry and I did record um, Spiritual Time, and it was a cracker. That was a Tuesday, and Wednesday, Kerry settled down to start doing the... Um, Editing. And the recordings disappeared. And she's devastated because she cannot find it. No matter what she does, she's looked in our files, she's looked in our um, dustbin. <laughs> she's looked everywhere. If she even checked we um, Zoom. To see Ken, because she knows it was recorded because she showed a bit of it to her dad and a bit of it to her partner Pete. So we know it was we know it was recorded. So it's went into the ether, as I said. So we are hoping to still get it back, but we don't know no no when or if we ever will. Um, I had joked on the way home because Margaret came with me and she was sitting at her side. So Margaret Scott. You know it was recorded. Um, and I said to her, oh, this is the one that's got to go viral. It was just a cracker. So we're very disappointed that we're not bringing that one to you at the moment. I've got faith when we get it back. <laughs> well, somebody has to have faith. <laughs> um, she, she's tried every avenue um, and, and she was at it for a few days until she told me last night. Now this is Sunday. Today is Sunday the eighteenth. She told me last night, and I said I would put up a explanation this morning. So I uh, we are really really sorry that this has happened. At the end, I was reading my little bookie again, and actually what we read was exactly what we were talking about on the um on the on the recording, and it, everything just seemed to flow. Hey, you've got to laugh. You know, you've got to laugh. And I'm going to read the chapter out for the... Because today's the 18th day of July. So I will be reading out the the, the page I did read. Um, we are taking a week off due to the school holidays here in Scotland. Um, we're having a week off. So the next one... And I will, I will, I think I should have had my, my uh, bookie look too, should I? My diary organised. But there you go, you know, up at, well, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet and I'm doing this. <laughs> but um, we will be doing another recording. Um, but you never know, this, the one that we've lost might just pop up. In between recordings, so look out for it just in case. Be and okay, you could what you could do, you could put it all love and light and lots of thoughts to see if, if we can get it back, you know, because it's went somewhere and we never deleted it. Um, because she's got every other recording that we've done, and uh, this one's this one's disappeared. So, could you put it on the lovely thoughts, uh, love and and thoughts of us finding it, get the angels and the, and anybody that you can think of <laughs> in spirit to, to look for it. Because it's out there somewhere. I believe that. I really do believe that. Anyway, I'm going to read... Um, I'm going to read the bit that actually I read it out. And, uh, yeah. Because it was strange. How this can happen? Well, no worth can finish at all. Me, I'm sitting there going, okay. Well, Karen, no much tell, telling me because I think I know nothing about the internet and where it could have went. It's went in the ether, I said. And she did laugh. <laughs> She's beginning to think the same way as me. <laughs> but until, until we can what's happened, there's nothing we can do. All right. But this is what I was... Uh, this is um, the, the, for the 18th of July, and this is what I read out. A lifetime. Lifetime relationships are a bit more difficult to let go of. 
When a parent, child or spouse is involved, the wounds are very deep. When the end of a lifetime relationship comes, you may feel that you would be better off dead. The pain seems to grow. The memories linger and a part of your life is dying. You relieve every painful moment in that attempt to understand. Your job is not to understand. Your job is to accept. Lifetime relationships teach you lifetime lessons. Those things you must build up upon in order to have a solid emotional foundation. They are the most difficult lessons to learn, the most painful to accept, yet these are the things you need to grow. Sorry, it says these things you need in order to grow. I apologise. When you are facing a separation of the end of a lifetime relationship, the key is to find the lesson. Love the person anyway. Move on and put what you have learned to use in all other relationships. A new life begins when a part of the life ends. You know, it means a lot, this one, to me, because um, tomorrow, the 19th of July, is my mum's birthday. and My mum passed away, as a lot of you know, when I was age of 14, and uh, she was only 38. And, um, yeah, it means a lot. And, and I had a lot of lessons to learn. And one of them was, I always love my mum. And I always do, and I always will. You know, 30 years later, my dad passed on to be back with my mum. You know. But the two, which one was the hardest? My mum. But I'll never forget her. I always love her, just like my dad. But in that 14 years that I was with my mum, she taught me lots. And I think one of them was to keep my sense of humour. <laughs> no matter what. So, can we, all this thing has happened with Kerry and myself this week with the recording and everything, you know. It's with love. Whatever reason why the recording had to go. It is with love that we've done it, as we always do. For all you lot out there, because you're amazing. And to, to watch us every week and to, and to listen to what we, <laughs> we talk about. Yeah. And we're really, really absolutely chuffed that you do. We appreciate your comments. We really do. And by the way, could we get some more questions? <laughs> I think we've only got about two today. <laughs> so if you have any more questions, please, please um, comment below, you know. So the next, the next recording that will be going out after this one will be the 1st of August. All right. Um. As I say, we're having a break off with the kids. My grandchildren are coming and, and Kerry needs time with the girls as well um, before school again starts in August. So until then, we love you. We really do. And we really do appreciate everything. Okay, and just even popping in and looking, okay, and even if you didn't leave a comment or that, we still appreciate you looking at our videos. Yeah. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is or whoever it is you're with, love to you all. And until the next time, which will be the 1st of August, we'll see you then. Bye for now, you lot. Bye-bye.